Hey guys, it's Bree, and as you possibly know, since I wouldn't shut up about it because of how excited I am, I reached over 10,000 subscribers recently and I wanted to celebrate. So I sent out a post asking what I should do with the idea of a Q&A in mind. And if you read the title, you could probably guess what won. So after the answer was completely obvious, I made a video asking you guys to ask me questions. And wow, I got a lot of questions. So I'm going to try and get through a few of them and answer them honestly. If you enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so I can reach my next goal of 15,000 subscribers. Now on to the questions. Astra Animates says, Ooh, that's such a cool idea. One thing I've been wondering is, how do you remember what to talk about while you're recording? Your videos are always super organized, and that's definitely not something I'm good at, so I'd love to hear some of your tips. Okay, great question. So a lot of people actually wonder how I organize my videos, and that's actually due to scripting. I remember a lot of my points and topics by writing down the main points or situations I want to cover in a video. That's actually a tip I'd like to give too, which is make a list of important points you need to remember so you don't forget, and then add them in your script. I recommend spending at least one day on your scripting. Scythe Fidget asks, how much has your art changed from 2020? The answer to that is a lot. I am way better with anatomy, coloring, and I think I improved overall. I figured out the style that fits with for me, and I'm really happy with it. Red NK said, there's so many questions right now, so I'm hoping I ask at least one uniqueish one here. Anyway, my questions are, what game and or show was most nostalgic for you, and were there any niche ones that you can't forget about? What character from a piece of media would you say you relate to most, and how often does that change over time? For the first question, I feel like the most nostalgic piece of media for me would probably be the, the game Undertale, because I don't remember much about it now, because I was like in the fandom when I was like 8 to 10, and it's been so long since then that I only remember like certain facts, like small things, and... Like, I was just so interested in it. It was, like, my first big fandom. I remember me and my friends would do role plays on our playground at our school, and I would always be Frisk or Sans. As for characters in media that I relate to most, it's probably Katie Mitchell from Mitchell's vs. Machines and Donatello from Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I feel like I basically am Katie in so many aspects, including my family dynamic, our personalities, not feeling as if we fit in, and our artistic interests. And Donnie, I relate to a lot of his struggles and how we both act. Con Valley asked, question, you gained a lot of popularity after the videos about art lore and the jelly art style. Are you afraid of your hype dying down? How do you plan to deal with it? And what's your plan for the future? I'm not too worried about my hype dying down, as this channel is mostly just for fun, and I'd be happy with just one supporter. I am so overjoyed that so many people enjoy my content, and I would just keep posting like normal if anything happened, but I probably would ask for more public feedback, so I know what my viewers want to see as well, since I want you guys to enjoy my content as much as I do making it. My future plan is to hopefully continue this channel for a long time. Grape the Great said, congrats on 10k. Now for the question, what got you into art and what slash who inspired you? I think my biggest inspirations and what got me into art is my family. A lot of my family members are artists and a lot of them just supported me when I did art and they got me supplies and stuff. And I feel like their support really encouraged me to draw and it's what started my enjoyment of it. This user said, congrats, I have a question. Has your art style always been more cartoony or have you ever had a realism or other phase? I've gone through so many phases and styles. I did have a realism phase, but I slowly realized that simple is just better for me, which I think is a good thing to keep in mind also. Your art is not better if it's more detailed and even the simple things are good. And I feel like learning that stopped me from holding myself back because I thought that art had to be the standard of realism or I wasn't a good artist and it's not true. Midge Modged asks, I'd love to know who inspired you to make videos. What was your first fandom, and is art commentary the only type of video style you plan on making? I used to watch commentary a lot, especially during quarantine, so that's what really inspired me. My first fandoms were My Little Pony, Five Nights at Freddy's, and Undertale. I'm adding all three since I'm not sure which ones came first, and I have terrible memory. As of content, I just go with the flow. I really enjoy doing commentary, so I want to mainly stick to that, but I might post some silly content here and there if I feel like it. Chokey said, congrats on 11k. Questions. How old are you, if you're comfortable saying? What's your favorite show or movie? How long does it normally take for you to draw one of your background drawings? This might be a shocker due to my voice, but I'm currently 16. Don't worry, YouTube. My mom has control over my account, so it can be monetized. Favorite show? Easy. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, hands down. I've watched so many versions, including Mutant Mayhem, Rise, 2012, 2007, 2003, 1987, that one short on YouTube made by the creative Invader Zim. I like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles a lot. I could honestly go on for hours about it, and it takes me about one hour to complete my background art, but it's usually sped up. Okay, this question was a big question, everyone has been dying to know. What is my persona based off of? Everyone keeps thinking, maybe Ruby Gloom. 
nope, not Ruby Gloom, but you guys did bring back that memory, and I was, I was like, wow, because I forgot that show existed until everyone started asking me if it was based off of that. I actually based my Sona off of what I look like in real life. The only difference is that I'm not that white, I have a lot of freckles, and I wear glasses. Lucid Paralysis asked, what is your favorite movie slash book or show? I'm just interested. I want to know what to watch or read from your answer. And congrats on 10k. My favorite movie is any Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie or the Spider-Verse movies. My favorite books are probably those books full of random facts. Like I store the information from them and then spit them out at the most random moments. Uh, I gotta use the bathroom. Do you know that wood frogs can hold their pee for up to 8 months due to hibernation? Ew. Dr. Cosmo asks, do you use any other art apps slash websites except for Ibis Paint or anything? I also use pixelart.com and occasionally Fire Alpaca if I'm bored on the computer. Dino Mino asked, apple juice or orange juice? What do you think about that one Zootopia comic? How do you feel about hitting 10k? Apple juice 100%. I love apple juice. It's one of my favorite drinks. As for the Zootopia comic, <sighs> it's certainly a comic. And I am overjoyed about hitting 10k. I smile every time I think about it. SPH Winks asks, Bridge Raws, do you have any pets? By the way, do you have an upload schedule? If you do, what is it? I have a dog and two cats, and I try to upload at least once a week. Gwen is Cringe asked, what do you use to draw? What tablet and what pen? And yeah, I use my iPhone and my finger. Pink Sheep's Cousin asks, do you like Pokemon? If so, what's your favorite? Mine is Gyarados. I love Pokemon. My favorite Pokemon is probably Mimikyu. No idea why, but I just love them. They're also fun to draw. Dissociated Toast asks, do you have any experience with commissions, selling or buying? Yep, I sold commissions a lot. I don't do them now. My only commission customer as of right now is the kid I'm working on the animated series with. But before, my prices were scattered and I don't really know what I want my prices to be or what people would like to buy them for, so I don't really do them as much anymore. Cello Ray asked, question, what's your taste in music slash favorite music genre? I love getting to know people's taste in music. Rock, indie, pop, rap, and metal are my favorite genres. Alicosaurus Rex asked, what's your favorite pasta shape? Shells. I just love the texture. Strawberry Pie asked, question, what animal is your favorite? Mine are sharks and cats. Snakes and cats are my favorite, but I pretty much love all animals. I love some from a safe distance, but I love all animals nonetheless. Except anglerfish, those have always scared me. The Mad Writer asked, what program do you use to make your videos, like to edit and stuff? I use CapCut. Bluebok asked, will you ever do an old art slash sketchbook tour? And what was your OG plan for YouTube? And thank you for featuring my comment. If you guys would like me to, then maybe I'll do one. My original plan for YouTube was just posting art, animations, and OC lore, which I did for a while, but wiped most of it off my page before my first commentary video was made in preparation for the news channel style I wanted. Friend 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 asked, question, has your sudden boost in popularity been overwhelming? Not really. I'm really happy about it, though. The Little Cupcake said, Congrats for 10k. Question, do you like a specific fashion style? If yes, which? I love the alternative fashion, especially gothic fashion, which I mainly wear. And yes, I do get called emo all the time. Pansexual Worm said, Hi, sorry I'm a bit late, but my question is, do you plan on going to any art schools in the future? I don't want to go to school specifically for art, but I do plan taking some art courses as well as some psychology courses since I'm currently working towards being an art therapist. Moon person said, what is your opinion on the gotcha community, and how long have you been doing art? That's all I have. Most of you guys are so cool. I used to have a gotcha phase, and I absolutely adore gotcha animators. When Gotcha Life 2 came out, I played for a few days and made some OCs. One of them actually secretly being a background character in the show I'm working on, Rockville. Well, it's not a secret anymore, is it? And I've been doing art since I was like three. Drex the Fennec Fox asked, what type of artist do you hate most? I don't really hate, but I dislike artists that hate on artists that aren't even problematic for things like their art style. Artists for fun, if you're gonna bully people for having unproblematic fun, then you're a jerk. Harps asks, what's your favorite candy slash food? My favorite candy is nerds and warheads, and my favorite food is oysters. Catnip asks, what's your cartoon crush or someone from cartoons you want to befriend? I don't have a cartoon crush, I just don't really- Matthew Patel, next question. Mech Chan asks, congrats, very random, how tall are you? I'm 5'3". Christian Camillo asks, Hey, did you ever think of becoming a YouTuber? Was it a pastime and you just got lucky? I used to want to be a YouTuber as a job, but it kind of just became something I wanted to do for fun, and I guess the algorithm and viewers loved me. Honey Bee Leaf asks, What does your setup look like? I'm not gonna lie, I just record on my bed and sometimes my floor. I use my iPhone and one of those tiny mics you see on TikTok interviews. I plan on getting a better mic in the future, but as of right now, this is what I got. Sketch the Degener asks, Mustard or Ketchup? I like both combined. Silly Tuna Fish asked, pineapple pizza or no? No. 
Mail Gria asked, Discord server? I probably won't make one. Those get drama real quick, and I'd hate to go through all of that. I probably won't ever make one, but hey, you might catch me in the Discord servers of other content creators in the future. Loxy Star asked, Do you go to some school, like a high school or something? I actually homeschool, but I'm in high school and dual enroll with a college. Florida Far Gone asked, Why are you such a silly Billy? I have no idea. Orky Orchids asked, Question, have you ever made an animation meme of any sort before? Yes, I used to make them all the time, but before I did commentary in a channel wipe, I post them occasionally. Maybe if it's wanted, I'll make one just for fun. So Gigi asked, Question, do you ever plan on doing a serious face reveal? Maybe in the future, but probably not anytime soon, though. Do you like toast? Yes, I do. Do you look behind you? Uh, depends. Why, should I? Do you smell it? Smell what? The toast? Uh, anyway, this user asks, would you consider collabing with other artists in the future? And yeah, totally, that'd be so cool and I'd love to talk and collab with other artists in the community. Maple.com asks, what's your favorite thing about making videos on YouTube? And that's being able to interact with my audience. Talking to you guys, even if it's just small comments, always brightens my day. And the fan art, oh my goodness, the fan art. I literally send it all to my friends and show everybody about how absolutely skilled you all are. You all are such lovely people and you guys motivate me to keep making videos. Nadali was here, asked, questions for the Q&A because that'd be cool. What weird food combination do you unironically enjoy? Okay, so this one is going to be sound ridiculous, but j just hear me out. I haven't had a weird combo in a while, but one I remember being my favorite was mashed potatoes and strawberries. The bright red and sour ones. I don't really remember why I even tried it in the first place, but when I was like 11, I had it all the time. Gracie LOL asked, OMG, congrats. My question is, how would you react slash feel if you got 100,000 subscribers? Congrats again. I'm going to be completely honest. I'd probably cry. I'm pretty emotional with this kind of stuff, and having that many supporters would just make me a bawling mess. I'd then try and find the most exciting thing to do to celebrate. Well, I think that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was fun to watch, and make sure to like, comment your future video ideas, and subscribe. Maybe I'll do more Q&As in the future, and I'll see you all in the next video. It'll be on the same face and body syndrome, so make sure to stay tuned. And make sure to check out the fan art I'm about to show. Bye!